Today's session will cover the basics of human factors, including work systems, human performance, situational awareness, workload and human error taxonomies. These human factors concepts will help develop the general capabilities within our group. So the topic of today's seminar is human factors and I'm really excited about today's session and the masterclass and what we're going to learn and having people in our business that are much, much more aware about human factors because whilst we want overall improved performance, everyone needs to go home safe. Human factors is an important consideration when it comes to designing, operating, managing, running complex work systems. So firstly, systems have to be designed in a way that takes into account the capabilities and the limitations and the expertise of the people concerned. Secondly, people are really good at compensating for poorly designed systems, but there's a limit to what people can do. So if you design a system well and you use human factors, effectively you can enhance the safety, effectiveness and efficiency of work systems generally. Uh, from today's talk I found uh, that the discussion on uh, capability and uh, capacity of the people to be particularly interesting. Uh, we are in a process with the autonomous trucks of rolling the operations into the control room and that process requires us to have a look at uh, who is the right person or people for those roles. And I think the opportunity for us is that we learn from what others are doing, particularly the air traffic control industry, and apply that back to what we're doing in our control room and with our autonomous trucks and trains. I think human factors has a direct impact on both our safety and productivity, so any improvements in that area are welcome. One thing that I picked up is that there's, there's really experts in, in these fields everywhere you look and to reach out when you're trying to understand these systems and the best practices towards this, uh, I guess the, the centre of safety sounds like there's a, a lot of great resources there. I think given the majority of our workload actually isn't technology based, it's a um, human operator model, it, it's really important and um, built into everything that we do, so the better we understand that, the better we'll be. So types of questions you could be thinking about uh, you know, things like, does the technology at your, in your particular work setting enable people to maintain situation awareness and make effective decisions under non-routine situations? Okay. If the answer to that is no, then there's a range of things you can be doing about that. You could be doing human in the loop trials to try to understand the nature of the problem better to get a better, better handle on what's actually going on, or use critical incident methodology. I was really pleased to hear that you uh, said that humans are highly effective and adaptive because I think we are and I think that's certainly my experience but, um, but linking our situational awareness to the success in automation is so important. Mm -hmm.